every time I sit up on this this stool, this settee, to talk, this dog comes over <laughs> and wants to ser seriously sit on my lap to just check out what I'm doing. And then he wants to sit down or sometimes he'll sit. Very rarely will he sit. But he, he really he just comes up and just wants to sit here. <laughs> he was lying right there on the floor. And as soon as I come over here, he's like all up in my grill. All up in it. I'm talking about this whole thing with Harry is serious because psychologists have weighed in on this and they're saying that he's got some serious issues. Harry's got some issues. Okay. And I think when you start to have people who study this, they clearly are seeing a problem. And I weighed in on this when I did my live. I see a very clear and present danger for Harry. And I want to talk about the psychologists are suggesting now that Harry, he has trauma and he has paranoia. This is to, to blame for what we're seeing, what, what he is doing right now in terms of his book spare, the things that he even put in his book. And you have to pay attention to this. And I can only imagine how King Charles is really concerned, really concerned. Now, there is a similar story happening with a woman who is born into royalty and she has done something very similar to her family as a matter of fact she's gone missing now the last time I checked she was still missing if you know the story that I'm talking about I cannot seem to find this story anywhere I I, I came across it and I don't know it's gone now because I can't really remember and I'm, I'm waiting for it to come up in my my feed, but I haven't seen it. So if you know the story that I'm talking about, please email it to me because I do want to speak more about that, too, because something very similar that is happening to Prince Harry is happening to another person of nobility and how they have completely gone off the deep end with another person that has come into their life that has taken advantage of them and has caused them to to create great harm to their families this is something that is not new it happens all the time but what makes it so extraordinary in our situation here is is that this is a family that is extremely popular on a global stage and the mother of the person that this has happened to was one of the most famous women in the world and we are seeing history play out before our eyes in real time. And it is, it's like it's, what we're seeing is history. It's current events and it's history. It's all happening right in front of our eyes in real time, folks, real time. And this, this has to be something that is concerning to a lot of people. Because the outcomes of something like this, if the person does not get help, is detrimental. Okay, so what are the psychologists saying about this? Well, Harry, he has lost his grip on reality. And there is intense paranoia that is fueling his relentless attacks on his family. He's been in therapy, we know, for many, many years. So we already know that he's been dealing with certain issues. That right there is a sign that if you're in therapy for many years prior to you even being on a world stage this publicly for certain issues you're dealing with in therapy, then you're already having a foundation that is not secure. Your foundation is flimsy. It's not stable. It could be broken. And, and, and right in the midst, I believe, of Harry trying to work out his issues around his paranoia and trauma around his mother's death, this woman comes into his life. Right when I think he's really finding himself on the right track, getting things together, serving in the military, something that was obviously very good for him and leaving the military and then coming into this situation right here has collapsed everything that he had worked for. And I believe that his wife, the spouse that he chose was so important on so many levels. And the woman that was out on the hunt seeking to find the right victim was very good 
She was very good in finding Harry as her victim. And Harry, unfortunately, he was the prey that the woman found. And it's, it's at a level now where this is not a game. This is not a game. And I think a lot of people that see what is happening are finding it hard to even vouch for this couple. As we know, most recently, the lady who started the Black Lives Matter group over in England has now changed her stance on Harry and Meghan. So this shows you how, how serious this really is. We are watching the downfall of a sick man. Now, I know a lot of people say Harry had issues prior to Meghan. That is very true. But Harry would not have done what he has done now without Meghan. And this is why I put the fall and blame on Megan, because Harry would not be doing this center stage press book interviews like all of this. He would not be doing this without the cultivation and the the, the, the poison in his ear from his wife. She is the blame. Because he would still be sick. He would still have these feelings about his family. He would still have everything that he has. But we would not see it this way. She's exploiting his illness. Of course, Harry has had problems way before his wife. But we wouldn't be seeing all of this. We wouldn't see all of this taken to this height and level to exploit it, to put it in front of cameras, to put it in, in media that is to live and document it forever. We wouldn't be seeing this. But there is a woman who is clearly wanting to take advantage of that. That's what the problem is. He's no longer dealing with this behind closed doors with a therapist. He was before that promoting good health, promoting it in a very healthy way, trying to get others to seek mental health support. But how do you go from doing it the way Harry was doing it pre Megan to now doing it the way Harry is doing it right now in real time with Megan? And the biggest indicator of that is how Megan dealt with it with her own family. That's the key. That is what tells you she's the culprit. Because what Harry is now doing to his own family, Megan had already done and pre-planned right when she met Harry. As we know from the interview with Samantha, it was documented, it was investigated that there was a campaign created to discredit Megan's family. And who put this out there? Who put it out there? Who, who paid for this campaign? Who paid to have negative stories put out about the Markle family? It was Megan. Megan did that. Who is known to pay Christopher Boozy to put out information and to target people? Within social media, Megan is paying for that. There, that's already been proven in court documents. I believe Harry right now is symbolically he's drowning. He's afraid because he no longer has financial support from his family. And some people may think, oh, well, you know, he's got enough money. He should be fine. No, not the way he and his wife want to live or at least his wife. The cost to live the lifestyle that they want to live is astronomical so there's going to be this constant trying to get the right money deals to not drown they're very very desperate and who knows what they'll do we as we can see Harry is doing something very detrimental to his whole family his well-being of his relationships with his family he is going against the grain and Throwing his family in front of, like Angela Levin says, the lions to meet the demand of earnings he needs to make to live. Because he's not getting it from the royals anymore. He is thrown out there alone on an island in California with his wife. 
to survive. That's how deep this has become. Now, a psychologist named Dr. Holly Schiff, based out of Connecticut, she says that it's absolutely possible that, you know, he is delusional and he is spouting blatant lies because he's not in his right mind. And for Harry, it may be easier to blame the rest of his family than to actually face the actual hardships he has experienced for himself, you know, to sit with these unpleasant and traumatic emotions than to really come to terms with them. And to even create that false narrative in your head helps you to relax and to think, I could just say, you know, They're the reason why I cannot come to terms with my mom's death. They're the reason why I feel not good enough because they told me my father said that I was the spare when I was born. Like all these scenarios that he has created that have made him not feel good about himself. He's created the reality that he really is a victim of these things only so he can feel better. And and, and Think about how Megan, his wife, has fueled that, how selfish that is. You cannot tell me a woman loves a man that is suffering the way Harry is suffering and wants him to continue doing what he's doing. I feel that what Harry is doing is very similar to what people go through with PTSD. He feels like there's this constant sense of danger that is not real reality. And he has this story playing in his head that it is his family and his wife being the consummate actress that she is, has found a way to to use this man and to get him to help her with her her rise to stardom while also fueling the story within Harry's head.